Hey y'all, so I've been getting a few uh, messages about how to use the the image that I shared in the group. So I'm just do this quick little tutorial on how to um, use it. It's the same thing as making nameplates. But if you copy it and save from the group, then you're going to have to um, clean the background. You could do that in Cricut, Silhouette, where, whatever you want to use to do it. Cricut doesn't always give you the best clean up so you might want to use another program or if you have the paid version of Cricut I think they'll automatically clean it up for you like super clean I'm not sure because I don't use the paid version I only use this um, design space to cut stuff so if you pull it into design space you will notice here that the um colors look a little wonky and that's because design space doesn't really read um gradients well it sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's just a hit and miss, miss um catch 22 if you will so it's is more than likely going to print looking just like that so there's no way to tell if it's going to do it beforehand or not unless you just design it and then pull it in here or whatever whatever but anyway, this is how you do. So you pull it in. You don't have to size it right away. If you're going to make an earring, then you're going to need to create a hole. So you're going to come over here to the shapes, and you're going to grab a circle, and we're going to turn it white so you can see what I'm doing. And so I'm going to size that down. I'm going to pull this over to that two line just to square it up. And then just so I can get pretty much... Uh, middle the uh, feeling of where the middle is okay that looks about right that looks about that looks okay so once you get that in place you can make this whatever size you want this this uh, this is at a size 6.764 by 6.77 so, and this is 0 0.458, 0 0.458. So put it where you want it, and then select these both, and then hit slice. Now you've made your hole for your earring. Okay, now you can size it. I usually start with 2.5. That is in between size. It's not too big, and it's not too small. It's for pretty much all ages from teenage or up so go up here and I put 2.5 now what I make these type of earrings it depends on the client if they want the image on the front and the back then I do that but most of the time I just create the image for the front so I would duplicate it slide it beside um, the other one if you want to make it for the back as well you just copy them and um, I mean select them both and just hit duplicate again that way you have um, four pieces you don't need to flip these because when you flip it you don't need to flip it it'll be fine just like that so if you're gonna do um, glitter for the back then you want to turn that into a basic shape and then you can just group these, cut these off. And then for these, you just hit make. If you're just going to make one pair, fine. If you're going to make more than one pair, then you can um, increase your um, project copies. And then it'll lay it out for you. And then you just hit continue. And then you want to hit send to your printer. Well, you see how this this part did that here um sometimes if you do when you do project copy it'll make an extra mat i think that's an extra mat i think that's what it did but sometimes i just don't set it up like that way i just learned that way recently because i don't really use cricut like that but if you want to set it up that way you can so let's move on to um for when you're used sending it to your printer and you see how this I don't know why this does like that sometimes. I've noticed that. So I, what I do is just cancel it. Yes, cancel. And I'm going to move this back down to um, one. 
And then I'm going to continue. Send to printer. I don't know why Cricut does that. It beats me. Cancel that again. Yes, I'm sure I want to cancel the cut. Let me um step back. If any of you know, please put put it in the comment under this video why that does that. Please put it in the comments. Thing. That'll be helpful to everyone. Thanks. So again, we're gonna try this again. Continue. Send to printer. And it's still acting a fool. Let me pause until it gets right. So I don't know what the issue is, but we're just gonna continue on like there is no no issue. So once you hit send to the printer, I always hit add the bleed because these um crickets sometimes even if you calibrate them, they don't always cut perfectly. So I add the bleed that way on around my whole the edge of my whole project. It gives me a little extra ink color. So if it cuts, if the cut is off just a little bit, I still get the color that I need. So I uh, add the bleed and I use the system dialog box. Use the system dialog box because on the next um, screen, in the next screen, it gives you um, the your printer's dialog box where you can click preferences or whatever and get to the screen where you could choose your paper the quality of the print and everything so i like to do that so don't do plain paper don't print on that setting you do not get your the, the you don't you don't get a good image quality i like if you watch my videos in the group or on YouTube, you'll know I use um, Epson Presentation Matte Paper. I love the matte paper. You don't have to use matte paper. You could use photo paper. You could use car style. If you use photo paper, it eliminates a step that you'll have to do. If you use matte paper like I do, you'll have to use do an extra step with the Mod Podge. So, whatever you're going to choose, whatever you're going to choose to print on, click that in the choose your setting. So I would choose matte and also click best. You want the best quality print you can get. Then you click OK and then hit print and let it print out. And once it prints out, you'll load it to your um, Cricut, your um, Cricut mat and cut it out. Yes, cancel that. Cancel. Okay, that was just the print and cut step. That's what how you get your hole if you're going to make earrings with the image and X, Y, Z. So, remember we made a duplicate and said if you were going to do, let me group these. If you were going to put glitter on the background, then you'll just make the duplicate and make it into a basic cut. And then you just hit make. And put whatever color glitter you're going to use up there and cut that out. Now, let me go back. Before you do that, because, because um, this is going on the back, you, you do want to take and... Um, let me delete this one. You do want to take a horizontal flip that so that that hole will line up perfectly. If you got it even, everything is um, pretty much centered, then you won't have to do that. But just for the sake of doing it, so it will line up perfectly. Horizontal flip it, then duplicate. Then hit make and load your mat with whatever color glitter cardstock or printed paper back in. Whatever you're going to do on the back. Load it with that and then cut those two out. Once you're done with that. Then you can use these same two and you can duplicate. Um, if you use um, eight, eight and a half by 11, 110 pound black car stock, white car stock, whatever color, just make sure it's 110 pounds. You can use that to do your, um, your middle layers.
So I like to use anywhere from four to six layers per earring. So for let's see, four. we're gonna go with these four here. So you load your mat with the 110 pound car stop, and you just cut those circles out. You hit make, and make sure you put it on. If you don't line them up in it. Okay, if you do it in here, let me let me zoom out so I can show you. If you do it manually, then I just like to um, attach them, then hit make. So when it goes to the next screen, everything is pretty much in place like it needs to be. And then you just cut it out. You don't have to go in here and change any of that. Unless you want to. But then you just cut those out. Then, after you do that, I'm going to show you um, on the computer. Um, I didn't print it out, so I have to show you on the computer. I didn't do any of that. So let's cut this on. Let's cut one on. We'll cut this one on. So you'll take four of these. You'll put my podge on it and glue the next one on top. My podge on top, glue the next one. Just until you get them all glued. My podge, glue. Then you'll take that one and send to the front my budget to there then you'll need to turn on your let's use one of these let's say you did glitter if you want to do glitter or if you have this um same print just glue it to the back so if this is your glitter layer then you'll glue it to the back so everything will be glued down now for your top you want to if you use the matte presentation paper like i did then you'll want to um, paint the top of this with my podge, let it dry, and then put your resin on it, if you want a resin. If you don't want a resin, you paint the top with my podge, and then you just spray um, Rust-Oleum lacquer, clear lacquer. It's like a spray paint. You can get it at Walmart. It's $3.96 or something like that. But you spray the top of that with that if you don't want to do resin. And for the back, if it's glitter, you spray with Rust-Oleum um, if you don't want to put um, epoxy on it or resin on it. You do that as well. So you paint. If, you do, if you're using paper, paint the top. If you're using glossy... Um, Paint this out with my Podge, but if you're using glossy photo paper, you don't paint the top with my Podge. You can just add the resin straight to the top of that. And that is, is the same for, if you have this image, it's the same thing. The same setup as this. Make your whole... You make it a cut to make it into a shape to be able to use it to do your layering. Same thing. I hope this helps. Please post your work if, when you make these or if you're going to make them, please post it to the group so we can see.